money. Come on, come on, Jim. It's Sneaker Friday. Look, they're cutting off my sneakers. You can't even see them. <laughs> I got to talk to these people next time. Jim, what's going There's on here? Nice Air Jordans. I we might want to purchase those, baby. <laughs> uh, we're just a few hours from tip-off of the Aztecs. Former NBA player, our friend Jim Brogan is here breaking down the madness. Jim, good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Uh, nice to have you here. You, uh, you look taller every time. I'm like, what are you, six? <laughs> not six, six. Hey, like one guy, one of the few people I'm who make guy. me look short here. I know. I'm a little guy, my when, when you're on the court. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's going on, and we got the biggest upset so far yet. We're, I was wa This is the one game I was watching, and I was like, wait a minute, why is Oakland up over Kentucky? What the heck was going on in that game? It's amazing how this time of the year yeah. you get to see so many different teams that you don't normally see during the regular season on right. TV. Right. So this team, Oakland, comes in out of nowhere and beats one of the best all-time teams you know, in basketball. Unreal. Because of a, one person, really, I mean, it's a team effort, but because one person behind that three-point line can drill some three-pointers, it changes the dynamics of the game. Because three-pointers, they add up quickly. That goalkeeper kid, though, his story is amazing. Yeah. No Division One offers out of high school, went to community college, and then nobody wanted him, spent five years. The one D1 offer he got after all that was Oakland, and now look at him. Yeah, and now he's on top of the world. Everyone in the country is talking about him because of his ability and his skill set to switch three-pointers. Okay, man. I mean, when you make 10 three-pointers, <laughs> listen, I'm going to put this down. Watch this. I'm Ready? On, come, on, come on now, Jim. His competitiveness is coming although, out. Although this jacket doesn't really do no, much for you me. No, do it. Oh, oh Clear, brick. Yeah, one more. Come uh, on, man. You talk to me about, um, I want to talk about UAB. Yes. Because if people aren't familiar, I mean, if you know college basketball, you know UAB. They, they've had good teams over the years. Uh, they're taking on our Aztecs. How do you see that game going? Oh, wait, what? Look at you that. Know, nope. The Aztecs I'm choking really, on air, but that's okay. They've got to get back on defense. Yeah. UAB's athletic. They like to push the ball. They want to score on offensively on the fast breaks. Right, right. So this is going to be a really good matchup for the Aztecs. And I'm surprised the Aztecs this year, you know, they didn't uh, win the Mountain West Conference. They right. They didn't win their tournament. And they got in because of the respect of what they did last year. I mean, look how many teams got into the March Madness from yeah. the Mountain West Conference. So I think you uh, you. San Diego State has yeah. a great opportunity here. They went in as a five seed last year five seed. and made it to the championship game. Talk to me about the mentality going in as the favorite, because usually SDSU hasn't been a, a favorite when they right. go in. When you're the favorite going in against this team, is there a different approach? Would does, uh, Coach Dutch have to do something different to tell his kids, hey, you can't look at that number? You bring up a great point. Coach Dutcher and his staff have been there. I mean, right. they've been to the championship game last year. They know how to handle this mentally. Yeah. Physically, it'll take care of itself. This is really so much of a mental game all through March Madness and what these teams have to do. And you have some veteran players there, Jordan Ledee and Reese Watts. You've got guys that know what to do. They know how to handle themselves. Yeah. And especially Experience. handle the social media stuff. Uh, yeah, they've got to handle that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. talk about social media. Yeah, they've got to handle uh, it. What happened last year was magical. Yes. Is that in their heads? Is Lamont Butler, does he have the shot in his head at some point, Jim, in terms of, <laughs> boy, that, that, that was, it's gonna be hard for him to ever talk that moment last year. Is he thinking about that? It's like, it, it, how hard is it? Because you got to make a run. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pressure. They're, they're kids. They're athletes. They've been there yeah. before. They've been to the big dance. They know how this whole works, the traveling, the interviews, the whole system. They're very familiar with it. So it's yeah. not going to be that difficult for them sure. because you have experience. And when you have experience, that helps so much because this is a one and done tournament. Yes. You don't get a second yeah, chance. I know. So that's a big favor for the Aztecs. Give me a prediction, not just for today's game, but I want to see today's game prediction, how far the Aztecs go, who's going to win it all. Well, it's going to be interesting because the Aztecs, if they keep winning, they've got to go against the University of Connecticut. <laughs> they had a difficult time with the last year. Revenge. So, and most people across the country, the pundits are all picking the University of Connecticut to win this. Sure. I mean, so, they only lost, what, three times this yes. year. But isn't it, is it weird that in the Eastern Regional where SCSU lands and – Dutch made a good point. Three of your final four teams are in this same little bracket here. It's like, did they do that on purpose? You know, every year I get to hear people talk about what the committee's doing. Yeah. But Who's that this committee? was odd. That was really odd that they yeah. put those teams in that one yeah. bracket. Yeah. Why would you do that? Are you trying to give, you know, other teams Purdue, Why would North you Carolina? Do that? I don't know, you know. But all I know is if you take the time sure. and you bury down and you dig down, you can win. Listen, That's what it takes. Uh, SCSU got it today? Yes, I, I believe they got it. They got to make sure they rebound yeah, the ball, okay. box out. You got to take a shot, Jim. Come oh, on, you man. bet, man. Come on, Jim. You bet. Come on, Nothing Jim. but switch. 
Oh. I touched the rim. I'm sorry. I touched Wait a minute. The... I gotta I... make one. You gotta make one. Oh. What is wrong with my shot today? You Leave your hands make... up. Leave your hands up. Pose. Leave your hands right there. Look at that. See that? I can still teach. My oh, man, right there. The right, now, I can, now I need another one. A little step back. Come on, Jeff. A little step back. No. Leave those hands up and pose, baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. no. I thought I had that, Jim. That looks so good. And... All right, go. Pose. Aztecs, Jim. There it is, baby. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank there you. It is. Nope.